this is Coach Reg, aka Mr. Intensity. And I'm Alana, aka Mrs. Intensity. And our job is to invoke thoughts and help in the world's consciousness. One person at a time. Hopefully, that person is you. Now, uh, I don't want to scare you with these videos, the MSG videos. Yeah. Somebody put it up. He said, take off your tinfoil hat. And he was like, uh, stop tinfoil? trying to scare people. Yeah, you know, scare everything. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to scare people. I'm not trying to scare you. Time to inform no, you. just trying to inform you or bring awareness to you guys because, you know, we didn't notice until we started doing the research. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you just got to take the information and run with it and do it with it as you please. Now, uh, okay. What scares you, it's just scary if you don't have any way to do it. Right. To get out of it. It's just scary if you don't have any other options. But in this case, you do. So it only scares you if you still want to eat the food that you're eating. Mm-hmm. Which leads me to this video, because this is going to scare the shit out of you if you don't have any other options. Yeah. But you need to be informed to know, because if it exists in America where you live, you should know what's going into your food. Would you agree? Right. And it's my duty to tell you, because somebody else don't want to tell you. Right, exactly. So, let's get to some more stuff. So, I, I suggest, if you're eating this food we're talking about, or if you're eating jelly beans that we're about to get into, yeah. you might want to put them down. Yeah. And if you still decide to eat them... Well, whatever happens after that, you already know what time it is. Right. right? Exactly. So let's get into the first one about jelly beans. Right. All right. Jelly beans are covered in shellac, which is made from bug excretion. Bug shit. All right. Shellac makes um, things shiny, and shiny jelly beans are nice. So jelly beans are often coated in shellac. Uh, shellac is also made from the excretions of the female lac insect. It's not bug poop, oh, okay. um, you know, All necessarily. Right. Okay. To be exact, but for the purposes of the sensationalism, it, I'm going to say that it is you. You eat bug poop. <laughs> Not surprising. Yeah. Not See surprising. All right. So uh, the next one. What's the next one, babe? The next one is um, the amount of insects that you eat a year. What? It is inevitable that some insects are going to get into your food. The actual FDA regulations that there are says that there are ten insects. Uh, and 35 fruit fly eggs per 8 ounces of raisins. So, uh, Akuma Matata. Akuma Matata. Yeah. It means no worries. Remember in Lion King, it was eating uh, the, the, the bug. To get that protein in you. You know you're getting extra protein in, so Akuma Matata. Yeah. What's next? <laughs> All right. Oh, that's it. The nugget isn't a chicken part, if right. y'all didn't know. Now, hot dogs had the reputation of being uh, from parts of a cow, but chicken nuggets are made from meat slurry. <laughs> A liquefied meat product which are then molded into familiar shapes we all know as nuggets. I'm going to leave that there. What do we have next, babe? Alright, it is said that the FDA allows four rodent hairs. You said rodent hairs? Rodent hairs. In my food. In the food. Well, okay. They uh -huh. allow four, up to four rodent hairs for 100 grams of, um, we would say foods like curry powder. All spice and ground pepper are also allowed to have more rodent hairs than, than you, you think. think. Wow. What's next? Um, meat is treated with carbon monoxide to make it look fresh. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> it says when you pick out that nice red steak at the grocery store, you're choosing it because it looks fresh, right? But is it really fresh? I told you in previous videos it's not. Exactly. But it's hard to know because a lot of meat are treated with carbon monoxide to keep it from turning color. That doesn't mean the meat is bad, but it does mean that it's not as fresh as you would like to believe. Yeah. So, as I say with the supermarkets, things of that nature, you're better off getting grass fed because you yeah. can't trust anything that goes in the supermarket when it comes to the, the meat. Think about uh, it. You know, it has to be fed with uh, some clinical antibiotics. Right, exactly. In order for it to, you know, stay the same color. Absolutely. So, um, what if it's like, you know, 10 days bad or, you know, um, 15 days, up to 15 days bad? Well, they have to get it from Cal. Say, so, say we live in Jersey, right? So, we yeah. get it from Cali to Jersey, and it was probably there before, so they pumped drugs in it. Right. Which means that's our next topic. They say that one in four meat samples is tainted with drug resistant bacteria. They say all food has some bacteria on it, but because of over reliance on antibiotics and feedlots, livestock have developed a number of drug resistant strains of common diseases like staph infections, like I say. What's disturbing is that, according to the NPR, a recent survey of meat and grocery stores found in one in four samples contained these drug resistant bacteria. Yes. 
like we say. Wow. Let's stop eating that meat in the grocery store. Exactly. You don't really understand? Yeah. I hope you do after this. Right. Is that tour? Next, next time. one. Yeah, we got more. What's next, baby? Now, a lot of meat that makes it um, to the supermarkets comes out from sick animals. Mm. Wow. As mentioned in the previous slide, the, um, the meat industry has become reliant on antibiotics. Some clinical antibiotics to be exact. Exactly. The reason is because poor diet and living conditions means that many animals that make it onto our table were really sick. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about it, people. As I stated in previous videos that you probably should watch, but you can watch my videos all damn day and not get to the end because I have so many. Mm -hmm. But um, I did a video about the GMO things in the, in the beginning. And I explained what they do. They have these cows and these animals in these 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 in these, these, yeah. these areas where they're they're sitting in their shit. They're yeah. they're they're getting sick because if you have a, a thousand cows in one area, it breeds sickness. But you have to keep this cow alive, so you pump it with drugs. Antibiotics, yeah. Exactly, so it won't feel the pain. So, Because you, you want it to grow so you can eventually kill it and sell it. Now, when these animals die, you know, they, they have to make it from here to here, right? Yeah. Now, they could have been dead for weeks, but you don't even know because they pump stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So you will still think like it's tasty. But when it actually goes bad, it goes bad, right? Mm -hmm. It goes really bad. So that's, but when they say, so when they say expired, it probably really expired by nature. Right. Like we can have two weeks before that before. even got to the market. Think about it. Right. Govern your mind, man. Be informed. You want to know. Right. You want to know. I mean, it's not like you can't find things to eat. You can find plenty of things to eat. You just have to look other ways. Not the natural way. Step outside your box. Stop being lazy and get it done for the better of you and your family. What's next? All right. There might be beetles in your strawberry frappuccino. Mm. <laughs> actually, um, they said that the strawberry frappuccino is in itself a bit Grosser. nastier than the fact that it w might have been used um, using beetles in the dye. But I, um, I think a lot think, of people will yeah. be off by the fact that dye is made from what's that called? Cochineal. Okay, and in fact, made from ground up beetles. Yes, so, so strawberry um, flavoring is made from the cochineal. And the frappuccino, right? And so anything. So strawberry strawberry flavoring is made from uh, ground up yes, beetles. Yes, yes. Strawberry flavoring is made from um, ground up beetles. Akuna Matana, once again, you know. Yeah. Akuna Matana. So, no worries. We don't, and you see, it's crazy what the FDA is, um, you know, allowing. So, if the, the FDA allows, you know, such crazy stuff like fluoride and all that stuff to be in our food and water. They're allowing bugs, you know, hair, and a whole bunch of crazy stuff to be in our uh, food and water, so you gotta be careful. This who runs it all, Codex Alimentarius. Exactly. Think about it, alright? Mm. What's next, babe? Um, the cheese is really made from rennet, which is... Made from calf stomach. Calf yes. stomach. The baby cow? Yeah. Okay. Rennet okay. is a group of enzymes for digesting mother's milk and a, and a crucial part of making cheese. Mm. Rennet for cheese making is obtained by slicing up a calf's stomach, soaking it in whey and wine mm. or vinegar and then filtering it. That's crazy, y'all. That is wild. That's nasty as hell. That's nasty as hell. My face. I don't got nothing on that one. My face. I don't got nothing on that one. Let's go next. This is getting crazy. Yeah. Lots, lots of, of other food. animals have, foods have the ammonia. ammonia. They say the beef industry response to pink slime has been known to say that lots of food has ammonia in it. Everything from processed cheese to cookies are made with ammonia and have been since 1974. Although in many cases the ammonia is in a different form no, than, than the a cleaning, cleaning agent, agent that we're used to seeing on a regular basis. It still has ammonia in it, so it's still bad, right? Yeah. It's crazy. That's wild. I hope you all know him. Let's get into the yeah. next one, y'all. <laughs> there's possibly pubic hairs in your fast food. Oh goddamn! And now, even though there's um, not much, uh, you know, um, of a source, you know, it has been it's been said that, you know, people have seen it. I still eating fast food anyway. Yeah. If you watch, ho ho ho! If you're watching my videos, our videos, you're still eating fast food. Right. We have not eaten fast food in forever. Especially since we started learning more about this. They're still eating fast food. I hope not. 
Please rise. I'm put the burger. If you're eating a burger right now, put it down. Stop it. Nuggets, put Stop. it down. I know the McDonald's Burger King Chick Fil A commercials are so good. Yeah. Great, right? Especially during the. Um, put it down. Yeah. Put it down, please. I understand they stay open late. Not Chick Fil A, but others. Put it down. Air at night. <laughs> you don't have nothing. Ice. For real, like. Eat, I, but even the ice is dangerous. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> What's next? All right. Um, salmon dye may be damaging your eyes. Mm. Now, you guys thought the chicken was wild? Now, guess what? Wild salmon gets its distinctive pink color from its krill based diet. Now, farm raised on the other hand, um, farm raised salmon on the other hand, is, is raised without the access to krill. So it's actually not really pink in color, it's really gray. Now, you know, the farm is knowing that people don't really want to eat gray fish or salmon, um, you know, usually put dyes to boost oh to make it look fresher to make it look like it's got real, you like, like it's real i got that wild, wild caught salmon right <laughs> you, are, you got saying? some wild caught krill all right not krill oh, what's um, it called? the krill is the, is what so what's it called it's 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 san, it's santa really, was it santa it's canthazanthin man she better than Cantha, this okay has been used or linked to, um, you know, ret retinal damage in the humans. Mm -hmm. Now they use the official, um, artificial dye in order um, to put in the foods or the feeding of the the salmon, mm -hmm. and that is what caused the, the, that that specific dye or chemical is what causes, um, you know, well they say to cause retinal issues. That's crazy. So you think you're getting that fresh salmon, but you're really not. You thought you was. You thought you had a friend, right? I was gonna say that you thought you had a friend. I got that. Why? Listen, it ain't wild unless you call it yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, people. Exactly. Don't trust the supermarkets. They all like to lie. Mm -hmm. They paid to do it. I'm sorry to say it, but listen. Be safe. Go fishing. I like to go deep sea fishing. Right. They're fun. I got they bluefish. Be, right. And they're yeah, like this big. I mean, bluefish tastes great. They, 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 you're like the best fish I ever tasted because why? I never tasted before. Mm -hmm. And it was fresh. They filet mm -hmm. them on the boat. It was good. Oh, it was good. good. If, if you get seasick, you know, I mean, hey, take some drama meat. Or don't take nothing at all. Just get seasick. Right. You should eat. You know what I mean? But I go deep sea fishing. It costs about 65 bucks. And, mm -hmm. you know, she's scared. But we're going to get in this summer. Oh, God. You coming with me? All right. All right. Last time I caught a shark, so I can't eat that because they Because <laughs> they, you know what? Sorry, I they digress. pee in their skin. They pee, they pee, and they have no bladder, so they pee in their yeah. skin. So I have to throw the shark back. All right, what's next? And I know, and it's what funny. are these sharks that I got? The little sharks. Yeah, and I know, um, you know, in Trinidad, are uh, like you know, delicacies, bacon chalk. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Bacon, bacon chalk is one of the best, um, you know, supposedly the best things in Trinidad. Wow. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. But anyway, the next one is um, beaver gland. Beaver glands. Now you'll find uh, castorium is the is in the is in the, the dried perineal glands of beavers. This is used. Um, this castorium is used in a strawberry, raspberry, or vanilla flavoring in some candy, gum, gelatin, and pudding. That's nasty, y'all. But whatever. You know, I mean, at, after what we gave you, I mean, you just know a little bit more than you do yesterday. Yeah. We're not here to make you. Fear, make it crazy. No, don't be, don't fear is false crazy. evidence of yeah. being real anyway. It's false if you let it rule you. Just yeah. understand what's in certain things, remove from your life, and keep it moving. That's all. I'm not trying to scare you. And I don't have a tin hat on. I, I ain't scared myself. Right, just, exactly. Our job is to inform you. And you see, and, and here's a clue, guys. Um, you know, a lot of these stuff are basically talking about, you know, um, processed foods, mm -hmm. um, which is the MSG, um, you know, a lot of candies, cookies, which are aren't really. Here. Which aren't really good for you anyway. So oh, really? Aren't good for you at all? Well, Nah, forget all that. Let's tell the truth. Okay, it's Listen. not good for you at all. All right. So I going? think you should I'm stop. I'm not going to baby walk you through this. Listen, if you want to get healthy, remove the stuff from your life. If you want to get sick, keep on eating. Just, it is what yeah. it is. It's simple as that. Like, it's easy. You know what I mean? It's it's not hard. It's not easy to change your life, but once it's done, it's gonna be a habit, wow. right? Yeah. But the best way to remove a bad habit is replace it with a good one. Good so one. let's 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 find some good one. Watch my videos. I got a lot of good ones up. You want me to guide you through it? I'll put you on a program. If you want to wash your body right and feed your skin, I've got soap for that too. And we are starting soap chronicles, and that's gonna be wild. So mm. we got oh man, mm. I'll save it for another. Yeah, so, exactly. Mm -hmm. So besides that, this is Coach Reg, a.k.a. Mr. Intensity. And I'm Alana, a.k.a. Mrs. Intensity. And our job is to invoke thought. Help break the world's consciousness. One person at a time. Hopefully, that person is, is you. you.